Hello everyone and welcome back to the winner's round 3 matchup between Prussian Prince and Unicorn Attack where at Sakura Ridge, Prussian Prince chose it, trying to go 2-0 in the series to win some honor back for the Mori. And he has a big front line of Nodachi, he's going for that big charge and doing the Admiral Price strategy of putting the ninjas up in the front to distract and keep Unicorn Attack away from the ridge. But interestingly enough, Unicorn Attack is not going to the ridge. At least not with this full force. He has some light cavalry going there, and maybe he's going to try and work some cavalry up the side. I wonder what he's going to try and do with the strategy. Kishin ninjas are still hidden, just came out of hiding. More cavalry moving up, and looks like the ninjas are going to be there and stop him just in time so that it will be Prussian Prince with the downhill charge going into that light cavalry. So good job there by the ninjas to just buy him some time, and Prussian Prince will take the hill pretty much uncontested. Very nice job. Those Kishin ninjas are a bit of a risk on this map, but if it works out like we just saw, it can get you a big advantage. I wonder if he has any bows to back it up. No, didn't bring any bows. I think on a map where I'd be able to delay my opponent with the ninjas, I want to bring some bows to really make advantage of that terrain. But doesn't bring any. Maybe just hoping for that big downhill charge. And Unicorn Attack doesn't look like he wants to play on those terms. And moving his force over here to this tree line. A very interesting strategy, but he does know that he is the defender in this map. And there's no need for him to rush up the hill if he doesn't have to. Because his Prussian Prince going to have to be the one making those moves. General's moving up for Unicorn Attack, and it looks like a great guard here for Prussian Prince could get cleaned up off the map, though Unicorn Attack's cavalry is really hurt as well. His two great guard are down to 13 and 16 men. His light cavalry is very hurt as well, but so is Prussian Prince. So basically, both sides' cavalry is off the field at this point. There's one Katana cavalry left for Unicorn Attack, but I believe that's it. He has a big melee component of Katana Samurai. I don't believe he has any Nodachis, but... For his strategy here, Nodachis wouldn't be good because those uphill charges would be would really render that charge useless. So he's going with the big spear, monk, and katana samurai component, which is a good setup for what he's doing, but he is downhill of Prussian Prince, which means a big charge from that huge Nodachi line. It's four, at least four, spread out really thin. This could be absolutely huge, but Prussian Prince's attack is very disorganized right now, and he might not be able to get off a good charge. The this, uh, this note actually has already popped his, his, no, his bonsai. He's going into the Yari Samurai. Doesn't look like he's going to a terribly good charge here. Nodachi have themselves lost 30 men, and he's knocking out amongst. Didn't lose very many, but the Yari Samurai lost about 40, so it ended up being a pretty decent charge there from Prussian Prince, despite being a little disorganized. And Unicorn Attack with those big infantry cores. It's good to keep him organized, and it looks like. He's kind of spreading out a bit and leaving some holes that Prussian Prince can really, really uh, capitalize on here. More Nodachi's going in. It doesn't look like Unicorn Attack picked a very good spot because there are downhill. So these charges can make some serious work. And the Naginata Monks lost 35 men in that charge. Very big charges coming from the Nodachis. That's what you want. Kill at least 30 men in that charge and you're golden. These Naginata Monks are going to lose these Nodachis who are at 99 men. The Monks are at 60. So the Nodachis will be able to clean that up no problem. And Prussian Prince got a pretty good engagement off with those big charges. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any cavalry to back that up. But his infantry should be able to tear through this front line. Unicorn Attack will have to hold strongly here. The Nodachis here are wavering, so the, the Naginata Monks will win there. But a Katana Samurai is going to come down and probably clean that up. Got a better charge off. There go the Katana Samurai. Well, nope, they're back and in the fight, and Unicorn Attack's line is starting to crumble. Couldn't withstand those big charges here in the center and on the right. Prussian Prince is now in stand of fight. Unicorn Attack has been in stand of fight for a while, and this whole flank has collapsed for Unicorn Attack, so Prussian Prince has a big opportunity here to push in and uh, get a big charge in the rear off. The Katana Samurai and Naginata Monks would be absolutely huge. Katana Samurai are moving up as well. Naginatas are running off probably some corruption there. Most likely they routed, and that's why they're running off towards the edge of the map. Kishin Ninja looks like he for Prussian Prince forgot about him and left him towards the middle of the map, or maybe just capturing that building. Nodachi's left up there at 83 men as well, so Prussian Prince ended up forgetting some of his units, but it looks like they won't be needed as Unicorn Attack's line is wavering, and it looks like Prussian Prince is going to take this series 2-0. Very good play here by Prussian Prince. There it is, the concession of defeat or the corruption has sealed the deal. And for once, the Mori end up winning. Prussian Prince has been a passionate Mori fan since the beginning of this tournament, so it's good to see the red guys win for once. I'll see you back in the main menu. Well, unfortunately, there was a lot of corruption there in that first battle. I bet it was really close in the actual battle. 
but unfortunately we didn't get to see that one because, well, corruption. It's too bad, but a very quick series there by Prussian Prince. Not going to say he dominated and just over, you know, just overran Unicorn Attack. That second one, though, he definitely got the better engagement off and was able to pull that out with not a lot of trouble. The first match, I uh, can't honestly comment on how it went in reality because we didn't get to see that fight. I'm sure it was very close, though. Unicorn Attack is a great player, definitely deserves a spot in the winner's bracket, but now he's going down to the loser's bracket. And Prussian Prince is moving on to winner's round four which means he is very close to winning the winner's round bracket and being at a huge advantage in the grand finals. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all in the next match.